And the winner for the strongest puncher in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet goes to... Annihilate! Congratulations, you're banned from OU now. Uh, hold on, what? How did you measure this? On what metric did you guys use? You can't just say it's the strongest puncher just because of a game mechanic. Did you guys even do the math and physics behind this? <sighs> Hello everyone, Thinkifer here, and before I get to the punchline of a bad joke, haven't you ever wondered who holds the strongest punch in all of Scarlet and Violet? Which Pokemon is it that throws iron hands like no one ever was? Or was that did? Anyway, thinkers, bust out your thinking hats and thonk juice because this one question may in fact surprise you. It certainly surprised me. So, let's skip the fluff and get to the point. There is a huge amount of punch moves listed in Pokemon and thankfully less to deal with in Generation 9. Oh man, it's really Generation 9. I feel like I played Gen 1 yesterday. Wait, that was almost 20 years ago? Man, doesn't that make you feel old? <coughs> <coughs> um, anyway. There's three punching moves out of a very generous assortment of other Pokemon punching moves that I want to look at. Rage Fist. Bullet Punch. And Mock Punch. Now I love the big angry ape Annihilate almost as much as I like watching Goku turn into Super Saiyan for the first time. But how strong is this Pokemon's punch, Rage Fist, really? Getting angrier and angrier, this monkey basically is still throwing a punch with just its muscles, really. So I guess we're gonna have to base this move off the real world here. According to Bulbapedia and Pokemon DB, Monkey King here weighs 56 kilograms. And we could do a force calculation, but thankfully we don't need to. Someone already calculated how fast a chimpanzee can throw a ball, which is a very similar movement and it's 20 miles per hour? The fastest puncher in the world, Keith Liddell, can throw a punch at 45 miles per hour, aka 72.4 kilometers an hour. Well, I guess Monkey's punch is a very underwhelming move, so what about the other punches? Well, Bullet Punch actually sounds fast, and it isn't all about the weight behind the punch. You need the speed, the speed behind it as well to generate an impulse or force that can cause serious damage. Let's take this move literally and assume it's a punch that travels as fast as a bullet. This then puts the punching speed of this move at a whopping average speed of 2736 kilometers an hour. That's a move just over twice the speed of sound! The heaviest Pokemon that can throw this move is Hariyama, which weighs a total of 254 kilograms! Crunching the numbers now, we're left with a total impact force of 81.3 billion newtons! Which is insane! It's literally 10.5 quadrillion times the force of Francis Nagano's world record punch, sitting at 129.1 thousand newtons. Oh, but if you thought this move was the strongest punch, oh boy, buckle up thinkers, because this next move, Mock Punch, makes this punch look like nothing compared to it. Now we said that Bullet Punch is traveling at twice the speed of sound, sitting at just over Mach 2, but the other punch, Mach Punch, doesn't actually tell us what Mach speed it's at, but Pokedex entries do yield a very peculiar, if not handy, piece of lore about the move. The entry reads as follows. The user throws a punch at blinding speed. Hmm, blinding speed. How fast does a punch need to travel to be moving beyond our ability to see it? Oh, you know, just a whopping 61,390 kilometers an hour. No biggie, that's just uh, 49.6 times the speed of sound. This punch is way faster than Bullet Punch, and whilst Hariyama can't learn this move naturally or at all, for the sake of keeping the math accurate, let's just pretend it could. Okay, so plugging the numbers back in to recalculate the force. 
We're now left with 40 trillion, 957 billion, 392 million, 586,194 newtons. That's 40.9 trillion newtons! Converting newtons to tons of TNT, this punch would literally go off like a bomb with a TNT equivalent of 9,789 tons of TNT. Forget Annihilate being banned from the OU, ban the Breylooms that throw punches that could destroy everything for miles. This move would utterly destroy the battlefield and completely destroy everything around it for miles to come, and worse yet, you would never even see this punch coming. Well, that's a wrap, thinkers. I've had fun extrapolating the what-ifs and buts of a Pokemon's punchiest move in Scarlet and Violet. Also, real quick, I'm still hosting Pokemon competitive giveaways over live streams. Keep your eyes on the lookout. Thinkers, if you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to support the channel's content monetarily, you can join as a member on Patreon or join on YouTube. Both will get your name in the credits and behind the scenes access. Now, before I head out, be sure to share some of that love and support around at my partner's Instagram at ElfSpringArt. Additionally, Elfie is now open for commissions publicly, so if you want something creative, Again, head down to their Instagram page. Give them a follow. Love ya, Elfie! Thinkers, have a big brained, funky day, and be sure to think safe out there. Bye bye!